Hello and welcome to Hey Teen TV. It's been a busy morning delivery for me. Oh, I've been worked at Biddeford and then at Chumley. Had to pick up, pick up a new axle. Yep. So on this trailer, I'll show you in a second. I'll jump over the top of it. Ugh. This front wheel here got caught the other day. Who? Honest, if I'm honest, I actually don't know if it was me or Adam. Uh, we're the only two that drive it. So that one, as you can see, which is real bad, uh, did a couple of days ago, got an axle sorted, ads will fit the axle, um, and then we'll have a tyre, new tyre put on. Um, obviously not that one, because that one now is highly illegal. But we only just did it. As everything at the moment, parts are like, just just don't get a start on parts. Getting whole parts at the moment is not the easiest thing. So, that's done. Now, ironically, my turning handler is here waiting for me. I've got a, t I'm off to now grab a load of topsoil that we sold. Topsoil will be delivered, only into our local village, so there's like nothing, nothing super, mad going on here and at the same time Charlie is literally just about to turn the factory on so that'll be going all at the same time so between running the odd load around uh, I will be constantly coming back to load him and then go get another load and take it back down there <sighs> but all we want to do is go cutting it's just so unfair it's also that wonderful time of year where Weather forecasters haven't got a bloody clue what they're doing. Oh, one second. <sighs> now he turns up. He vanished. So, what was I saying? Weather forecasters haven't got a clue what they're saying. Uh, so I don't know what everyone else weather forecasts are saying. Our weather forecast out here, which is constantly saying, there will be sunshine and good weather in a week's time. Now, it's been in a week's time for the last three weeks. We're just waiting for it to be this week because we are starting to get itchy feet and really, really got to get stuff done. It is, we're a little bit behind, but, put some butts on this, it's not looking too bad because all our crops have bulked right right up, like proper bolt up. So that's a good thing. Um, in a bit, I've got to go and move compost around. A bit of good news though. A little bit of good news. Yeah, it's slowly filling up. Only one bay empty. And we got some over there. And we got some down the end. And the shed next door is half full. So, if we do get cutting, it is going to be not not quite as stressful as we were imagining because we caught up a bit on, well, we caught up, we caught up a lot on this. Now, I'll quickly open another bale before shooting out to go and move compost. Right, I've done my last load of soil, and Ads has just arrived back as well. Hi Ads. Hi. You all right? Very well. Yeah? Good trip? So-so. So-so? Yeah. Oh, another note, if you haven't yet done so. Please subscribe. And thumbs up, be much appreciated. So you're gonna find out what job you've got next? Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing now. No <laughs> idea. Could be the axe I've brought back. Could be. Could be another load. Who knows? Who honestly knows? But ain't, it ain't going turning. So you use them new tethers out yet? Nope. No? No. Nope. You gonna cut some grass? I would love to cut some grass. Well, there we go then. But yeah, currently sky is, oh there's a bit of blue there, but it's mostly, mostly white clouds and grey clouds. It's, it's not, not hay making weather is it? No, it's definitely not hay making weather. 
Anyone who's made some hay already, let us know how you get on. Be interesting. We're we're kind of you know lagging behind. But right, I've got to go and move compost around. We've arrived. Here is some total of compost that we've got so far. It's pretty empty. Here's some new shred. That's going to get put in the bottom. Then I'm going to move this to there really quickly and let it go for a setting stage. So then the next lot will get put in here behind me. Right, let's get moving. too dry so it's letting the dry mix with the wet and like any normal dung or grass clippings mix with the wood that's in there which just ends up making a really nice mix when it goes out hopefully this year in the autumn not very, very late spring, like half and loads of it went out. Way too late. But that's the cards, unfortunately, we were dealt, and just trying to make the best of it. Some of it now I'm just pushing and then flicking it over. I turn you back round. See this bit here? That is really, really dry and it won't break down properly unless it is turned buried. So you'll have loads of this wet stuff on top of it. And then at another point it will get moved and shift it all over again. Let's do field work. All we'll do, go cutting grass, doing grass. But we are a long way, from, well, hopefully we're not a long way from that, because if we are a long way from that, there's gonna be some real scratching heads. Not just for us, but Constantly, as usual, weather forecasters are constantly keeping the dry week a week away. So last week, last Wednesday, this week was supposed to be dry from Wednesday. It is not. There is more rain forecast for the weekend. Um, so that has not happened. 
happened yet. But they are forecasting rain stopping next Wednesday go dry. Ironically. Hopefully. Hopefully this time they really are right because it's that time where everything's starting to get it's starting to really catch up on things or catch up on us. Because usually we would be two thirds, three quarter way through by now with first cut. We haven't cut blade of grass yet. But one thing none of us can do is fight Mother Nature. That is physically impossible. The worst bit out here now is I'm far enough back in the heap that this yard, where is Bullock Yard, there wasn't enough money at the time to concrete the whole yard. So there was like a concrete pad put in here, which I'm up on angle one. And then it was stone yard round the outside of it. Which, you know, it worked, it did, it did the job at the time. But a lot of the stone's worn away now, because it's been used as compost yard for, for a good seven, eight years. And it's worn away, so it's a bit of a step. So whilst trying to move everything around, I've got to constantly climb back up on the step. Those of you who've watched us on the Dunks running videos over the last two years would have seen that on dung spreading we I'll sort of dig myself down into that bit and then load up to the concrete bit so I don't have to keep going up the step. But for this I don't have that choice. But there is some considerable considerable heat coming out now. There we go, it is moved. Now there, it was there. It has now been one oxygenated two mixed in for moisture to get through it so dry bits start breaking down more as well three different types of compost and dung that we have it's all been mixed together into a big mix voila now uh, i'm gonna head back to the farm and see what i've got to do next so more orders come in so my day has ended up with loading this one out ready for first thing tomorrow morning which is got to go. Oh, hair everywhere. Right, which, this has got to go up North Devon. So, gonna fly up there. Now, fingers crossed, with tracking weather forecasts on all seven weather forecasts and apps I got, we could be cutting, fingers crossed, next Tuesday. If everything plays its cards right. So, until then, I'm just gonna dream about it. But, End of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet done so, please, could you hit the subscribe, give a thumbs up, ring the bell, that'd be amazing. Anything else you want to find out about us, merch, uh, what other social medias we're on, that's all down below. Just check it out. So until next time, see you later. Cheers. <laughs>